Okay, so a bunch of people have been asking me how to, how do I get my dcschools.net email in a quick, easy way? Well, one of the options that I find is the easiest is I have it automatic, when I open my browser, I have it automatically open uh, to that page, and my, and yours will too. My computer remembers my password and everything and is logged in and, um, and so I, as soon as I open the browser, boom, my email shows up, and it's it's actually quite easy. So here's kind of how I do that. I use Firefox mostly. Um, some people use Safari. Uh, some people use <clears throat> Chrome. And so um, I'll show you in Safari, and it works in a very, very similar way in Safari uh, if you have a Mac, and then Chrome also. Uh, I don't use Internet Explorer because I don't have a PC. Uh, so I, I would encourage you to use Firefox. This seems to be the most universal browser. So uh, when I open it, you'll notice that there are actually four windows um, that open uh, in mine. And so obviously you can see my email there. Uh, so uh, let me show you how that happens. So you go over to Firefox and you go to Preferences. Okay, so Firefox preferences and then you'll have this uh, general uh, this advanced tab sync privacy and applications content and so on uh, if you go to general so the far left tab uh, again I have four windows that open you don't need to open four windows uh, I have our middle school Ning opens this is for my grad school that's my portal for that I have that automatically open. You, again, my email and then also uh, my DC Schools calendar automatically open. So if you look here, it says home page, and then I have simply listed what I want to do with that, what I want, what uh, web address I want to do with that. Um, so let's just go uh, on how to get the Google one. All right. So let's say that that's not there. Okay, I'm not going to get rid of those other ones for the sake of this demo, but let's just say it's it's not there. So what I do is I have to originally log in. So let's say I'm not logged in, and I go to um, simply Google.com, and I'm going to go in. Oh, cool. So I'm going to go to Google.com, and then I'm going to sign in, and then that's going to provide me with the web address that... Uh, I need to cut and paste into my okay so now I'm signed in I go to mail okay and so the key is this web address right there that web address is the important part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that and then I'm gonna right click and in on a Mac you hit the control button and you hit copy okay so I'm gonna hit copy now I I have that on my clipboard, so it's ready to be pasted. So again, I go to Preferences, and you'll notice it's Command, Comma. If you want to use the shortcut, that's what I use. Hit Preferences, and now again, we're back to this window. Okay? So I go, I'm here, I'm at this home page area, and again, none of this is going to be here for you. It's going to be blank, but you get the idea. And I'm going to Apple V or Command V. I can also control click and I hit paste and see there it is right there that's the web address that I just captured from right here okay so once I do that as soon as I close now it's it's captured so let's say I quit I quit Firefox and now I open it again and Again, my email shows up just like I wanted to. And again, I have this. Uh, this is my Google Calendar that shows up automatically as well. So all four of those tabs open. So I would log in to my classes and so on and so on and so on. So anyway, I hope that uh, helps a little bit. See again, and it comes in real time. So there's my email right there. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit on how to establish a home page for your um, email.